In this nugget, we're going to take a high-level look at some of the most popular database platforms out there in the world today, and I'll give you a peek at what one of them, SQL Server, looks like. In our previous nugget on certifications and exams, we talked about Microsoft SQL Server and Oracle Database. These are the two industry leaders as far as enterprise-level database management systems go. Both of these database platforms come loaded with tools not only for designing, creating, and managing databases, but also for reporting as well as massaging data, what's known as ETL, Extract, Transform, and Load, plus other tools for automating daily tasks. Not only do these enterprise-level database platforms implement the ANSI SQL standard, as all of these database platforms do, ANSI, by the way, stands for the American National Standards Institute, but they also extend it with their own language. SQL Server has T-SQL, Oracle has PL SQL. These are just extensions built on top of that ANSI standard. We also have a couple of open source database platforms in MySQL and PostgreSQL. Open source means that they're free. Anybody can download these at any time and utilize them at will. I also included Microsoft Access in this list. This is a really lightweight database platform designed for personal and small business use that's a part of the Microsoft Office suite of tools. This is actually a pretty cool little database platform that contains everything you need to create database, load it up with data, report on it, and even create forms for data entry. Now, I just happen to have access to a database server containing SQL Server and it even has a couple of databases on it. Let's go take a look at what it's all about. Here it is. This is a Windows Server 2016 machine, and on it, I've installed SQL Server 2016. I also installed all the tools and components associated with SQL Server. I'm going to bring up the primary tool here for creating, designing, and managing databases. It's called SQL Server Management Studio, or SSMS for short. Notice here that we have a connection to this database server, and on it, we have four databases, a couple of Microsoft sample databases and a couple of user-defined databases that I created. Let's take a look at this one right here, SWDB. This is a Star Wars database containing all kinds of data from the Star Wars universe. If we expand the database, we have a bunch of directories or nodes under here. And if we expand tables, this is where the data is actually stored. So for example here, we have this films table. I'm just going to open this up by giving it a right click and choosing to select the top 1000 rows. This is actually going to automatically generate a SQL statement, submit it to the database engine and return all of the data out of that table. There it is. So this right here is SQL. This is called a select statement. Select is used to read data. And we're going to look a lot closer at the SQL language in an upcoming nugget. But I just wanted to show you here what it looks like. It's grabbing all the records, all the columns out of this table, which pulls back all of that data. It's kind of like an Excel spreadsheet, right? And notice here that we have a bunch of tables inside of here. Let's open up this people table here to see what we have. We have all the Star Wars characters. Now, these table objects that we're looking at here are how we store data in databases. Every database management system implements tables. So Oracle Database has tables, MySQL has tables, even Microsoft Access has tables. This is how we store data. It's by far the most popular database object, and one we'll be learning quite a bit about here over the next couple of nuggets. And it's also worth mentioning that every single database role works with tables in some way. Developers design tables, administrators manage tables, and data analysts query tables. So we'll take a much closer look at these in the following nugget, and we'll also look at some of these other objects as well. Views and under programmability, we have stored procedures and functions and triggers. These are all ways of working with tables directly and indirectly. In this CBT nugget, we covered some of the most popular database management systems out there today and even took a peek inside a SQL Server database. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.